Hi there, welcome to the Flat Max UK channel. I will show you the change I made to reveal all the extra land here shortly, but first I will briefly explain how my observations came about. In my video Fata Morgana is the curve, I showed the mirroring effect on the horizon at different times of the day under varying conditions. This is the area that I focused on for that video, and you can see the mirrored land in the background showing the Fata Morgana effect. My recent observations have surprised me, and the following information may be very important to anyone serious about carrying out long range observations. All of these observations were made using a Nikon P900 camera. This was the image that I showed taken at dawn at low tide. It was about 12 degrees Celsius, so quite cool. I thought these factors might allow for the furthest viewing conditions, but I was wrong. Here are the original images. The next image was taken from the same location and the tides were of a very similar height. This image was taken at about 1.30pm so the sun was at about its highest point in the sky. As you can see there is a lot more land visible. It was quite a hot day around 19 degrees Celsius. You can see the difference between the two there. I believe the biggest factor in how much I could see was humidity. Very low in the midday image allowing for more to be seen regardless of the temperature. The dawn observations had a very high humidity of 94 degrees. I think that humidity is one of the most important factors in how much we see and the amount of atmospheric distortions. My next image was even more surprising though. This was at 20 feet and then I moved just 10 feet up to 30 feet and you can see there's a considerable amount of land revealed. I've merged the two together there. Just 10 feet higher is revealing around 100 feet plus. The distance is around 20 miles. This is the dawn image one more time. You can see there's hardly any land at all past the center of the image. But then when I move up to 30 feet, you can see lots of land there. And as I pan to the left, there's land extending much, much further than I expected. I think for anyone making observations at sea level, are putting themselves at a great disadvantage. And I don't think it's really necessary as we've got the calculations to allow for a view at a higher elevation. My conclusions are that lower humidity definitely affects how far we can see and how clear the image is. And also the viewer's elevation level. I believe that the atmospheric effects ramp up from the viewer's position very gradually. So the further away the greater those effects appear to be. With the Metabunk calculations, a 10 foot higher viewpoint of 30 feet should reveal about 20 feet extra at 20 miles but I actually got over 80 feet so it's well worth going up 10 foot to gain that much land in the distance. There are lots of other atmospheric factors over water such as humidity, weather, Fata Morgana or mirroring, mirages and magnification to name just a few. I'm sure there are lots of others. Visual effects over the water are very unpredictable. Any observations over water are likely to be questioned by both flat and ball earthers. I think now that land observations may be better wherever possible. I'll have lots more experiments and observations coming up so please subscribe to my channel. I hope that my observations will help you in your own observations and I look forward to seeing them. Thanks a lot for watching, bye bye for now.